What's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Dream Chasers Career Mode. Let's get straight into this one today. If you are not up to date with the series, check out the playlist on the channel. Get yourself straight up to date. We are going to jump straight in, like I say, with a match against AFC Wimbledon. We're going to try and complete the month of October in this episode. We're starting on the 1st of October, just trying to get through the month. It's a long season here in League 2. We play like 46 games, I think I did the maths it was. 46 games or something like that. We'll never get through it at this rate. So I'm going to sim a few games, try and get through a month per episode uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already and let's jump straight in quick sim for the first match of the the game uh, of the episode sorry um like i say if you haven't seen the last episode there was a massive injury blow for the team our striker is out for three months we're having to play our star man elliot up front but that guy is absolutely unreal as we sim this match can he get on the score sheet the answer is no. Hancock with our one goal here in a 1-1 draw against uh, AFC Wimbledon. One thing I do notice every time we sim the games, though, we always have so many shots compared to our opponents. So it's a shame that we can have eight shots and only one goal. Um, but yeah, so starting off with one point. I think we're unbeaten in the league still, um, possibly. Let me double check that. I, well, I can't even check it now because we're in a Papa John's trophy against uh, Mansfield Town. This is a very weird um, trophy, like three people in a group. So I'm guessing that only the top one person gets out of the group. We're going to play this game because it is in the cup. Uh, and we do want to try and win every cup game that we can. Unlucky, uh, unfortunately, I should say. Um, wait there. Hate being subbed off at the best of times. Lad, I didn't even do it, so shut your mouth. Um, I shouldn't speak to him like that because he's one of our star players, Naila. But how can you moan at me for getting subbed off when I simmed it? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we got knocked out the cup. If you haven't seen that episode, it went, it went to penalties and we got knocked out the cup and it was absolutely uh, hilarious. But, yeah, we've got um, Papa John's Trophy against Mansfield Town. We've got a few uh, chats coming through here. Nikoski wants to play. Uh, I'll think about it, mate. I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, and Rabija wants to play. So, with it being a cup game, I am going to play Rabija. I will let him... I keep pressing down on the left stick, you know, to, to go to the team, thinking I'm playing ultimate team. Uh, anyway, so, what we are going to do here is bring on Rabija for Cook. Cook struggles for his stamina, you know. He, he always needs a rest, this guy. And then, for the centre-back position, I want to give Canales a go. We signed this guy as a free agent last episode. His stats look unreal. Uh, 17 years old, 71 rated, this guy. Looks like he could be special. We're going to throw him at right centre-back, I want to say. Yeah, let's keep Valentin on. He's our club captain, at least for the fair season. Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep him on. Hancock looks a bit tired. We don't really have many options in the attack, though. So, he might just have to suffer and struggle up front. Let's get into this game against Mansfield. That is the weirdest formation I have ever seen in my entire life. What the hell are they playing there, bro? What? Hey, why Why is the centre-back sat on his head? Why? <laughs> what are they doing? Giving piggybacks and... What? Wow, that's the maddest formation I have ever seen. 3-5-1-1. That's crazy. That is... Like... Their whole left-hand side is just going to be open. There's no players there. Is that meant to be like a, a centre-back behind the centre-backs? I don't even know what's going on there. <laughs> hey, let's get into this game, see how it looks. Left-back getting skinned. Like, it wouldn't be a... Uh... It wouldn't be a Dream Chasers episode without... I don't even know if I said that in the intro. Dream Chasers career mode? I think so. Uh, but yeah, it wouldn't be a Dream Chasers career mode episode without our fullbacks getting absolutely skinned. Speaking of fullbacks getting skinned, there's Hancock. He's got some pace in the box. I'm going to have to shoot here. Big save. We've won a corner. That's nice to see. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Big from Valentin. That's why we kept him in the squad. He's a big player, Valentin. Hancock has struggled for goals recently, but while we've been simming it, he's been scoring loads. I don't know why Davies just flies forward. This guy thinks that he plays up front or something. He's got like a magnet towards their goal. That's a ridiculous pass. That's a ridiculous goal. How have we broke down like that? I was just about to say, they're playing 3-5-1-1. In the attack, it looks like they've got no players. How? That's great off the ball movement. Valentin out of position. Ah, wow. We, we never go 1-0 one, one, uh, one up. Well, I was about to say 1-1. One, one. We never go 1-1 one, one up. Of course you don't, because that's a draw. But we never go 1-0 up. We always go 1-0 down, and then have to come back from it. One day, we will score first. This is genuinely the weirdest formation I've ever seen. Like, I can't break it down. There's no space anywhere. Here's Elliot, a man who can find space from nowhere. Linking up with the DM Nailer. You see what I mean? Like, there's just nowhere to go. Those centre-backs doing piggybacks in the, in the box. Bloody hell, Valentin, lad. Why is he just running like that? Anyone see his running animation then, lad? He looked like Dream. Running with his chin, lad, not even his feet. 
Here's Naylor leading the attack again. Oh, a referee, Elliot's down in the middle. Get that back inside to Lee. Someone said we need to put instructions on Lee, and I think we do because he never gets forward. Here's Rabage. Yeah. You've got some space for a long shot. Big save. Yo, I thought that was going flying in, then I would have screamed. <laughs> There's Elliot on the corner again. Big head. Oh, Valentin. That happened like two episodes ago. You've got to score those, bro. I thought he would have been training on that type of stuff. Big head from Elliot. Win that Lee. Ah. With field missing, it's so hard to, to try and get something going in the attack. He's our big target man that we just blasted up to and he can just hold the ball up. Yeah, look, we've got some space here though. Here's Lee. In behind, Elliot. We've got Jones in behind the defence there. One on one. Jones far post. That's got to be. Oh, what am I even watching? What am I even watching? Jones, mate, come on. That's a ridiculous miss. That, you know, that's actually crazy how he's missed that one there. Is Canales playing the ball up to Vaughan. That was the weirdest pass I've ever seen. That was a full bar. <laughs> full power, wide through ball, and it bounced across the floor to our right back. I'm trying to find the space, but I can't see it anyway. Switch wings, let's go. There's the space. There's the space. Go on, Davies. That's a great first touch. Inside, Hancock. Playing it to, to my man. Over to my man. Great turn from Lee. Great footwork. No, is it great footwork, though? I'm trying to find Elliot. Naylor, what have you just done there? What, have, what has he just done? Oh, lad, my players, this game, just not awake. We're not going to get knocked out the Papa John's trophy. Oh, mate, our left back absolutely fucking stinks. Big save from King again. We're getting absolutely rescued by our keeper. I don't even think we've got anyone on the bench that we can bring on to make an impact here. Like, genuinely. I'm going to bring on Nicholas for Valentin because he just looks so shaky. Raber just going in cam. Watch this. We're putting Hancock there. Bringing on... Nah, what am I even doing? You know what? Let's bring on Cook. He's knackered, but I've got to try and do something. Let's go. Here's the counter. I say here's the counter, but we've got no striker. Nobody's up here. Go on, Jones, you brick shit house. Go on, lad. Someone make a run for me. Back post. Hey, look at that. Get the ball in. Oh, no way. Lad, I've got... This is so hard to break down. If they find, like, a glitched formation... It'll... Go on, Elliot. From range. Oh, lad, no way I had to hit that. They were going to close me down there, but... Yo, that was close. Oh, mate. Yeah, this formation that they're playing is crazy, bro. I just can't get past them at all. There's no space. It's a big edge from Cook. But there's nobody there. Go on, Elliot. Go on, Elliot. Go on, Elliot. It's Rabage. We've gone for the chip. Why would I do that? Overhead kick. That's a high boost. That's surely a foul ref. I don't know why I'm asking for a foul against my own player. Big tackle from Lee. Hey, the boys are on it now. The boys are on it now. Hey, back post. Go on, lad. Oh. Big head from Lee again. Boys, we are active. Why is our centre-back running forward like that? I don't know. Why is our centre-back just bombing forward like that, lad? Who do you think he is? Go on, inside. Rabage again. Rabage, he's causing problems in that camp uh, position, you know. Don't you dare blow the whistle, ref. Don't you dare blow the whistle, ref. It's a counter-attack. Referee! Ah, oh, that might be us out of the Papa John's trophy. I don't know how the, the tournament works. Hopefully it's not like, but... I mean, I'm not asked if it is. I prefer Domino's anyway. Our next game's against Newport. They're currently sat 17th in the league, so we're going to sim this one. I'll probably only play teams in, like, the top half or the top eight, possibly. Um, we don't have the available players to fill the subs bench. What? What the hell does that mean? Oh, Canales is out on international duty. He's been called up already. He's only 17. He's been called... I don't, I don't even know where he's from, lad. Mexico. Hey, fair play to him. But, um, yeah, that was a weird message, That I thought it was going to tell me, like, all my players were in a car crash and they're, they're all injured with broken legs or something, so you can't play the game. I was going to say, bloody hell, FIFA's only a Peggy 3. That's got a bit dark. But let's sim this next match anyway. We should win it comfortably. And we sure do. Elliot needs to stop missing pens, bro. That's the third one he's missed. And we've, we've had eight shots again. Jones, Hancock, and Naylor with the goals. Elliot's missed another pen. <laughs> like, I can't take them when I uh, play the game. So I thought, while we sim it, Elliot might score the pens. But no, he's just like me for real. Can't score pens. Next game's against Crawley Town. They're in the top eight. I said we played the top eight. Let's get into it. We are 9-3-0 in the league so far. Unbeaten. Yeah, no one can chat to us. Let's see if Crawley can do something about that. Hopefully not. Weird save from the keeper. Could have picked that up. Weird save from the keeper. He couldn't have just caught that. 
That's a ridiculous tackle. Oh, what are you doing, Valentin? He actually wants to get dropped, even though he's the club captain. He's playing like Maguire. He's playing like Maguire. He's playing like fucking slabhead Maguire. Fuck's sake, that's goal. Come on. I've been absolutely awful at FIFA all day, even on Ultimate Team before. You should have seen me. I was losing my head completely. Some kid played against some kid and he thought he was Pep Guardiola, lad. He was passing it around the back with a Kanji and Ake. He had like a budget Man City team. It's like, how do you think you're Pep? You can't even afford Pep's fucking wax on his head, mate. He had a Kanji and Ake at the back. Can't even get Diaz. That's a great pass from Elliot inside to Jones. Great dribbling. No, it's not. Fuck off, Jones. Here's Lee. Nice turn. Nice turn. Ball through to Hancock at the near post. He scored. I have finally scored with Hancock. He scored loads while we've simmed it. I've never scored with him, I don't think. And that is a great finish. Let's go. I used his face on the thumbnail the other day and I had no idea who he was. That's what Hancock looks like. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> no way. Lee's been dispossessed on the edge of the box. Big save from King. That's a ridiculous save. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, we always have one infamous rage episode in a career mode. <laughs> happened with Newcastle. Um, it happened with AFC Liverpool. This might be the rage episode. What have I just witnessed? What have I just witnessed? Keeper. What are you doing? The keeper's been so questionable this game. Is Lee linking up with Elliot? Elliot. Oh, come on. You've got to find that pass. That was such an easy goal. Let me just get hit on the counter like this. Caught with our fucking pants down. Left back again, getting skinned. What the hell type of skill move was that? Oh, lad, if that would have went in, my head, <laughs> my head was gone. So was my controller. I was throwing my controller out the window if that went in. Lee and Elliot just have no chemistry together, I swear to God. Is Hancock, though. What can he do down the wing? That's a terrible ball roll. Keeping the ball moving. That's a great run. Lee, inside. Great goal. Great goal. I had to tell him to make the run with the LB button. But, you know, great goal. We don't have to tell Elliot to make those type runs. He just does it. Lee, I don't know what's going on in his head. Why he doesn't just make runs like that. But that's a great finish. 2-2. Two, two. Come on. We never lose. Someone's got to be there. Are you... F referee! There's no... Lad. That's not a foul. That is not a foul. How can he give a pen for that? The keeper saved it as well. That's not a foul. I didn't even touch him, ref. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, no, not having it. Not having it. I didn't even touch him, ref. Did not even touch him. Watch this. He's a cheat. He's a diver. Where's VAR? Do they even have VAR in League 2? Can they afford it? He's a cheat. He's a scumbag. Okay, there's a bit of contact there, like... But he's jumped over it. Look, lad, he's actually jumped over the contact. He's not even made contact. And he wants to go down like that, you absolute cheating scumbag, mate. I'm going to save the pen anyway, so I don't even know why I'm asked. And time for the change now. He's going left him. Over left. That fucking bounce before it went in. That's the worst pen I've ever seen. Ah. He took that so quick, though. Is that for a weird pen, lad? He's, like, chipped it to the right. That's weird. That's just weird. Why would you even do that, lad? I'm trying to catch you in the tunnel afterwards. Elliot's been quiet so far this episode. Can he get something going here? We've got Jones. Back to Elliot. Marked out the game completely. Elliot, our star man, has been absolutely silent. Great turn, though. Elliot, great finish. Great finish. He's just told me to shut my mouth. He has just said, lad, who do you think you are? Who do you think you're talking to? Don't mention my name. Elliot with the equaliser again for the third time. This is a ridiculous game. And again, big from Elliot. Go on, Elliot, lad. Make that run through. Go on, Elliot, lad. For the winner. Go on, Elliot. Yes, Elliot. This is what I need to do. I need to do this more often. Just slag off me players. Say that they're being quiet and they're not good. Look at that. what I mean for an off-the-ball run. That's a great touch. The ball control and the finish is ridiculous. And we've took the lead for the first time in this game. Finally, and it's 4-3. Oh, 
Oh, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I tried to take a tactical foul to end the game. Blow the whistle, ref! What are you doing? Referee, blow the whistle! Come on, get in, boys. What a win that was then. Hey, I was losing my head that game, you know. Oh, mate. <laughs> I hope we don't have to play any more today because I am absolutely just losing my head at FIFA today. It's been a bad day for gameplay, I swear to God. The servers were down before as well. My head's gone today. Toby Brown looks like a decent player. 79 to 94 potential. We'll sign him. Oh, our next game is against Northampton. They're fifth in the league and they have only got one loss so far this season. Seven draws, but only one loss. We're going to have to play this game. I don't want to lose this unbeaten streak. Let's jump straight into it, man. I've just noticed their striker's hairline, and if he scores past me, I'm going to end the episode straight away. Here's Elliot, though. Go on, Elliot. Near post. Big goal. He just he just scores, that's what he does. He just plays football and he kicks it and it goes in the back of the net. That's just what he does. <laughs> Big challenge. The, the lads are up for it today, you know, I swear. This has been the like the most intense 27 minutes of football I've ever played on this game. Look at all the space inside for Lee. Great turn as well from the lad. I'm just gonna hit this from range. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? Where's he just come from, lad? He just, lad, he just ran on from the crowd. He can't score. I think the keeper just saved that with his head. Where's he just come from? Watch this for a pass. Oh, yes, I see that. 99 vision. Inside to lead. One more. Oh, lad, my players just... I am smarter than my players, and I am better than my players. They don't do what I tell them to. No way! What a save that is. Jesus, Lord. How did that even make it through? We have battered these. If he's got a late equaliser, I will fume. Because we should be... Like, look at this. We should be ahead. Jones, make that run, mate. I'm going to play it through to him. That's a great pass from Naylor. This is going to be it. And it is. Come on, boys. We deserve that. Oh, that's a joke. That is a joke. We are good, mate. We are good. You see what I mean? Every time I slag me players off and say I'm better than them or they're not good... They just come up with stuff like that. And I'm like, that's a great finish. What a win that was, lads. We are just too good when we play these games. I mean, even when we sim it, we're still unbeaten. Like, the team just clicks. Our players are just class. Elliot has been a little bit more quiet in that striker role than in the cam. So I, I am looking forward to getting Field back. And once Field comes back up front, we're just going to be unstoppable. Yeah, Canales, I was just about to say... Um, we haven't started Canales. I'm actually going to now for the next game because he will start fuming. Valentin has stunk this episode. So Valentin, even though he's our club captain, is going to get dropped for Canales. We need to give him some playing time. Otherwise, he's not going to be happy. Jones goes to the captain because he is 31 years old. Highest or longest serving uh, player at the club. I've just made that up completely. But <laughs> it is what it is. We've got one more game left against Leighton Orient. What I want you to do for me, people, let me know in the comments. How can I make this series better for you as a viewer? I want to keep improving the series as we go. Uh, what is your favorite part? This is what I want to know. What is your favorite part of the series? Is it me playing the live commentary games? Is it just quick sim in the games, getting through the season, seeing the players develop? Speaking of development, everyone needs to develop better because nil nil, we can't have that. Um, but yeah, let me know. Is do you like the live commentary games, the the, the menu stuff, looking at the squad, uh, the the transfers? Let me know what your favorite part of FIFA career mode is and watching my series of it. Unfortunately, Edson Duarte, who we had signed in the youth academy, his potential has dropped from 94 down to 89 now. I think that's because of the development plan we put on him. I wanted him to get four star skills and he's got it now, so I'm going to put him back to balanced. Hopefully, his uh, he grows with balanced on him. Toby Brown, left back, five star, five star, and his skill moves on weak foot. This guy looks insane, can play left back and right back. At only age 16, I might promote this guy and play him straight away. This guy looks class, mate, Jesus. We'll leave him there for another month, see how he develops, but... Uh, yeah, like, that that could be a star man right there. We don't even need to sign anyone. I was looking on the transfer market, for defenders. Looks like we don't even need any. But we have got two back-to-back -back cup games to start the next episode, starting with the Emirates FA Cup. One I definitely want to try and do well in because there is prize money up for grabs for sure in uh, the FA Cup. So that will be the start of the next episode. If you did enjoy this one, people, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know the vibes. I'll catch us next time. Take it easy.